What's up YouTube, Jason here with Bite My Bits, and I have some very interesting results for you for episode number four of Plex Battle OS, the series where I compare different operating systems and see which one can perform better as a Plex media server. So just like you probably figured out from the title of this video, this is Free NAS versus Unraid. I've gotten a lot of requests for this. In fact, I've been waiting to test this for a long time, mainly because when I built my main server, Zeus, I was really questioning my decision uh, as far as should I have went with FreeNAS or should I have went with Unraid. I've actually used FreeNAS before in the past on a much, much lower powered system, outgrew that quickly, and it's a long story. But anyways, I ended up going with Unraid, so this was a very interesting test for me. Now, to be a little blunt here, I did test the latest versions of each operating system in order to see which one could perform better rather than going back to the older version. Now, the latest version of FreeNAS that I use is Corral. I don't remember the exact version of Unraid that I use, but I will go ahead and put that in the description below. Now, this has been highly requested by most of my users, so I'm definitely excited to know the numbers, but I'm a little surprised at the same time. And before I jump into that, I do want to say because of these results and how confusing they are to me, I think I am going to jump back and test free NAS version 10 against another operating system, probably Windows 9 or whatever that little enterprise version is that Windows came out with that was sent to me by one of my subscribers. Thank you. Not really because anybody can use that operating system, or at least most people can't, but just because I'm super curious and, well, it's a thing. Okay, so without further ado, let's start off with free NAS Corral. In my testing, I was able to get this installed fairly simple. Free NAS is pretty much the same beast when it comes to installation as I remember it. But once I got everything installed, got it up and running, tried to install Plex, had to Google it because that was a whole new world for me and I wanted to spend less time figuring it out and more time testing it, I was able to get five total transcoded streams out of the free NAS server. And that's it, actually. That's five streams, five transcoded streams, nothing more. I could not get a direct stream to play reliably without making the other streams buffer which is kind of mind blowing. I didn't really think that basically, I mean, okay, this puts free NAS at the bottom of the list, worse than like Windows 10 and Windows 7, which if you ask me is kind of pathetic, makes me question my results. It was a little strange, but ugh. all the variables from my previous test are the same. Uh, I still use the, the SSD to host the media files and do the transcoding. Uh, it's the same CPU, I mean, same RAM. The only variable that is different here is that instead of using the SSD as the OS drive, it is instead hosted on a USB drive. The USB drive I have is like a 40 megabyte per second read and write. It's not very fast, but it is USB 3.0. Uh, it has been snappy enough for just about anything that I've done before, but that is the only changed variable in this situation. As far as I know though, that really shouldn't make a difference because the USB hosting the OS, the OS itself is only hosting that temporarily. It moves that to memory once it gets booted up. A few things have to load, of course, but for the most part, it shouldn't be a bottleneck. But tell me in the comments if that is incorrect, if that is a, uh, an unfair bottleneck maybe, but I don't really see a way around it because if you are running FreeNAS, you're probably going to be running it off a USB drive. That's what most people do. Mainly because once you install it on a USB drive or, or once you install it on a drive, as far as I know from older versions of FreeNAS, that, US, that drive is not usable anymore for anything else. But to continue my testing with FreeNAS, as I have done in the past, I also did an optimized test. That's where I optimized the media that I was using, which is a back to the uh, future file, and I optimized it for mobile. And after letting it run for about 10%, it was only able to get up to about 3.4 times encoding speed. But as a side note, that was definitely a climax for it because most of the time it was hovering in the two. So Okay, so that's a little bit disappointing and pretty damn surprising, but I can't wait to see what FreeNAS 10 is gonna do in my next video, and I definitely wanna test that. But let's move on to Unraid. So with Unraid, I was actually able to get six transcoded streams at the same time. Six transcoded streams, a full transcoded stream over FreeNAS Corral. Now, unfortunately, I was unable to get a single direct stream to play on top of the six transcoded streams without causing one of those streams to buffer. So we have a total number of six transcoded streams, zero direct streams, and to continue my testing, I also optimized it with a maximum of 4x optimization. 
And as you can see from the handy dandy little chart that I make, which is completely crappy, I know, that basically puts Unraid above every single desktop environment that I ran, but under every other server environment that I have tested so far. But that's it for my testing, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Uh, you have to remember here that both FreeNAS and Unraid were running off of the same USB drive, the same USB 3.0, 40 megabyte per second read and write drive that I've been using for both operating systems, for both Unraid and FreeNAS, made them perform the way they did. So you can count that as a bottleneck or you can dismiss it as I did because I feel as if it doesn't make that much of a difference. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. If I am, tell me in the comments. I would love to hear it. This is all about learning and testing and that's what I'm here for. So. Let me know. So stay tuned for next episode. I'm not entirely sure when that's gonna happen. I just learned that I sold and bought a house today. So uh, the next month is gonna be kind of hectic. In fact, exactly one month from now is gonna be really hectic when we're moving. So that's gonna be really interesting. Um, next video will be probably FreeNAS 10 versus uh, Windows 9. So that's gonna be kind of interesting too, just to see how Windows 9 does compared to the other Windows builds, and also to see how FreeNAS 10 does in compared to FreeNAS Corral. So as always guys, like and subscribe below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.